Saida Itabari lost her hearing after contracting meningitis as a newborn. She never learned to speak and communicates in sign language. But she went on to get what in the United States would be a high school diploma and mastered the art of designing and crafting gem-studded jewelry, which she markets online. My older brother introduced me to Turquoise Mountain, where I took a test and was selected for training for making jewelry. Turquoise Mountain is a British charity working in Afghanistan to restore the country's cultural and historic heritage. It held an exhibit last year at the Smithsonian Institution's Freer Sackler Gallery featuring Afghan artists. It included jewelry Ethabari designed and made. <laughs> I went to the museum one year ago where my work was on display. There were people from many different countries and they were asking where I was from. They were surprised and wondered how I learned the art and how I got there. Itabadi says she likes to work on intricate designs even if they take hours to complete. She often combines traditional Afghan and contemporary motifs in her work and says she feels connected with people through her jewelry. Munaza Shahid, VOADWA, Kabul, Afghanistan.